Okay, people, let's get right down to the point on this. <clears throat> this is our ship design that we're going to be going for today. So here we have, like, this will be the cockpit. I want uh, dual cockpits. Uh, this will be the main part of it, like uh, where all the reactors and cargo containers. And then I want to put some side chairs in there. Uh, this will be a turret. We got... Uh, impulse nacelles where all the engines will go and that's going to be the basic design of the ship that we're building today I also got these two bait I got the mobile base connected to the base as you can see wheel doesn't very much like it anytime I hit that dang wheel I always die right, where's my there it is it probably stole all my stuff yeah, it took everything. I don't know why the build and repair... There it goes. I have multiple build and repairs now, so they should be working, like, on the double. I'll take that steel plate. Um, let's see. Where did all my hydrogen tanks go? Right here. We only have 1k more ice in there. Alright. Let's begin building this ship. Okay. Scaffolding. There we go. Just to confirm, I do play in survival mode, people. So this ship is uh it's since we really don't have a use for miners unless it's to dig it's basically gonna be uh a troop transport and like uh uh not a heavy transport but a transport all right let's get the basic body laid out here So let's see We're probably going to want this a bit wider Because we're going to be The fighter cockpit Let's move this up a couple of blocks And then I need construction components. Of course I do. Okay. So, so the, the server is a little laggy today. I think it's just uh, the server hosting might be having a bad day. Okay. I doubt that we'll have the components to build that after... Oh, yeah, I just remembered. You guys haven't seen what I've done with the base so far. So uh, I've pretty much almost built all the walls. Uh, yeah, this is our little uh, main production area. We can get a glimpse through the top. We're eventually going to add more into this. It's just we don't really need it right now. As you can see, I, there's extra space over here. We'll probably end up putting more cargo containers or something. But uh, I got a couple more build and repair systems uh, so that we can weld things faster. Alright, all we need are displays. Which I don't think that we have, do we? Production. Can we make any displays? There we go. Okay. We should be able to make enough displays. And there we go. We've got the rest of the components. Okay. Now this is where I wish I could turn on symmetry mode. But uh, I'm not in creative mode. Okay. Let's get the medium cargo container. 
And of course, I need interior plates. We actually have quite a few the uh, interior plates. Okay, let's do dual cargo containers. So yeah, this thing's gonna be pr a lot wider or longer. I'm probably gonna make it uh, one block wider. Grab a couple pass yeah, because you see these passenger seats, they're uh, three by three, so we wouldn't be able to fit them on. So we're gonna have to like right here, maybe. Oh, this server lags pretty bad. And it's not that I need to restart the server, I just recently hopped on. I was uh, I'm working on a ship design that may or may not... In, I was working on a ship design in a creative mode game uh, that we may or may not print. Uh, if you have any Space Engineers mod uh, mods that you'd like to see us use... Uh, please don't build that block. Uh, if you have any Space Engineers mods that you'd like to see us use, please comment them down below. And, uh, me, Last Soldier, some of the other people will review them. Uh, and if we think that, for one, it won't be too overpowered, and for two, uh, it won't freaking crash our server. Uh, there was one mod that I tried to add that literally wouldn't let us connect. So let's see. We are going to want this kind of block. And then we're going to want the half slopes, right? Is this, is this how I'm picturing this? Or do we want this? Like that. Okay. There we go. I think let's let's move the seats back one over like this. Hold on, hold on, this is too far forward, too far forward. Eight. Why have you not welded up these? We cannot be out of iron. I got like <coughs> seven thousand grinding down some of the reluctant class earlier. There we go. Now we have a little gap here where I can fit walls. Okay. Ooh! I just got a really good idea. Okay. Alright. This is this idea is going to be really hard to explain. So, uh... I, I'm, I'm not going to try and explain it. Okay. In short, I want to have pistons. Like. Hmm. Let's see. want to have a piston there. It's small steel tubes. Build and repair. And then we have on there, we have. That's not how Mafia works. Huh. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Hold on. I think we might have a defective fist in here, boys. Okay, let's go into here. Oh boy, I just disconnected. Okay. 
I almost just destroyed this entire thing. Add piston head. Then we rebuild this. Then it might not want to die. Okay, maybe we need to build the block. There it goes. Kind of. Sort of. I don't think that this is going to work. I mean, another idea would be... So, basically, I'm trying to have doors or covers that come down over these doors. How oh, that wouldn't have even... Oh, I see. Uh, the block hitbox was too far out. Wait, why are these ones? Oh. I see. Since it wasn't an even, uh, since it wasn't evenly built, one of them's always gonna, oh, I can't, okay. We might have to do a little bit of, uh, renovating then here. There we go. Whoops, no, 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 no. Accidentally put that one in the wrong place. There we go, now that'll all be even. Okay. All right. Let me let me let me mimic the armoring over here. So if I do remember, we had one of these, then one of these, and then we had these go up all the way, and then have a block there because we need those access points wait hold on need that access point right there but I do need this block right here there we are huh we might just have to leave them exposed like that Let's see. Alright, let's see here. Here we are. Uh, that was wrong. Right there. This block's wrong. Three. There we go. There it is. Ah, ah, speech.exe stopped responding for a second there. Now, yeah, okay, good. I was gonna be like, if the hitbox won't let me put armoring on top, then I'm literally going to Kermit. Okay. So, I kinda wanna go for. Have you ever seen, uh, freaking airplanes that have, like, just normal airplanes, the back kind of slopes up? That's what I want to go for here. Where the back just, uh, slopes up to the, uh, roof. And then we could put uh, systems here, like small little ones, maybe ore detector, antenna maybe, sensor would be cool. And I do have the, uh, we sh instead of putting impulse in the cells, we should put warp drives. Yo, let's go. Warp drives. I'd say that this design is looking pretty decent so far. 
Alright. Hold on. How would it look if we did that? That would probably look okay. Yeah, you know what? We won't put systems there. We'll just make this look good. Alright. Three. There, there. All right, I'm going to stop saying there. But which there do I mean? Okay. All right, let's then build these across. And then we need one of these. What if we got rid of this block and then replaced it? Mm. There we go. Okay. So let's delete this. All right, I'm gonna turn my light on. Okay, for recording purposes, I'm just gonna make it day. So that you guys can probably actually tell what's going on. Because uh, I've seen my videos at nighttime, it gets really dark, so that's why I have all the green lights everywhere. Okay, let's see. We still need reactors, gyros. This thing looks like a. Uh, Looks like a like a shuttle pod or something. Really? Could this design work? Theoretically, this design could work. Yo, bro, dual cockpit. Alright, let's just this this okay so yeah the hitbox comes out to there I'm just gonna put a pillar here in the middle I'm gonna leave it open though land to do this. There we go. Bam! I'd say that this thing's looking pretty good so far. Comment down uh, what I should name this class. Just so you know, everything that I build in this will most likely be going on the Steam Workshop for those of you who play Space Engineers. This, these builds will be going, most likely, be going on the workshop. So, for one, I want to know what you guys think I should name my, uh, uh, my, the, this ship specifically. And then, what should the actual class of the starship be? Well, it's not really a starship, it's more of a transport. Okay, here we go. Bam, we're at about 20 minutes. Dang. Now we've just gotta build the nacelles. Which, um, I think we're gonna have three blocks in between here. Two, three, two, three, one, two, three, and then that's where all of our batteries are also gonna go. We're gonna use compact batteries, and we're gonna try and keep this nacelle uh, compact. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay. 
Okay. So here is how we're going to accomplish said compact nacelle. So, every time we go in, we're going to go out one, like this. I think, oh, this thing's going to look sick when it's done. We've got to go in to go with that. Out one. And then we have our nacelle right here. This is going to be a 3x3 three three in a cell. Huh. What kind of warp engines, uh, impulse engines should we use? Green, yellow, purple, blue, or red? Let's go with red. I mean, uh, I must be colorblind. Am I colorblind? Who knows? So, uh, I hope everyone here is subscribed to T-Series. Uh, no! No! Okay, someone, no, uh, I meant to say PewDiePie. I'm just so used to saying, uh, T-Series is bad, that, uh, when I thought of PewDiePie, the first thing that came to my mind was T-Series and how bad they are. Freaking, so, I don't care if you have to stop this video, go subscribe to PewDiePie. Without PewDiePie, there will be no YouTube. Alright, let's see. Let's grab these compact batteries. We probably will never get the components to build these batteries. But, you know, it's besides the point. Okay. And since we're going for a sleek design, we're going to cover this. Actually... Should we go up another? No, I feel like that's tall enough already. We'll just have to add thrusters in random places to make it uh, look good. Alright, but anyway, since we're going for this sleek design, we're going to use half armor blocks like that to get... Right, we're gonna leave this open in the middle until uh, I can get all the components that we need. Power cells. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 12 power cells in total that I'm gonna need. I wonder, do I have enough to produce those power cells? Production. I mean, I should. I've got. I've gotten a few more ores off the exchange. Yes, we probably won't be able to produce them all. Yeah. Actually, we've got to move everything over to the assembler. We might have enough. To actually build these batteries. If we're missing anything, we've got 22, 27 latinum production. What are we missing? Iron? Really? It's all here in that assembler. Uh, 
which assembler are we using? Assembler 2, yeah. We should have plenty of iron. Oh, we have 3.8. Uh, Ferengi, what's that blue light? Oh. Ferengi exchange. Let me just buy a bit of iron. Like three. And then that'll instantly start refining and we should have enough to make those power cells. Hey, look, we were able to make one. All the way though? No. Okay, three. I didn't want to build that, but okay. Half slope. Right. Unless there's like a very, very small. No. They should add a small version of a. Here, wait. And uh, no. Okay. This thing's not going to be quite as fast as uh, my other one. Well, uh, my uh, infiltrator. Hey, there we go. I can't believe the only component that we were missing was iron. Now that we have some, it's like uber mode. Building those batteries. Okay, now we've got to copy that design. How I really miss symmetry mode and creative. Okay, and then we go one, two, three, and like that, and then this. I forgot how many times that we do this. One, two, three. How many times do we go back? Went back three times and then we built the nacelle so that's two and then this will be the third whoops that was backwards and then in one more one two three okay and then we went back to Oh, can you see what I mean by the servers not having a good day? So one, two, right? Yeah. And then we put down our three impulse thrusters. Oh boy. Um, I'm, I'm real quickly gonna cut guys until this, uh, this, uh, build is done. And here she is. Still welding up a couple of things that were, uh, that need to be, uh, welded. Uh, like, uh, we had a shortage on steel plates, so I had to go, uh, back to the reluctant. You see what I mean? Shortage on steel plates. Uh, so I had to go back to the reluctant class and grind down a bit to get some and currently they're all in uh, the uh, cargo container in the build and repair systems so I'm just gonna do a real quick proof to make sure that this thing is symmetrical yes it is and the build and repair is still welding up some is it welding up the walls over here yeah, it is. Okay. So, ready to control C. No, wait, it's control B to copy a grid. Right? Yeah, small grid. Okay. Edit. Take screenshot. Rename. So we've already got the infiltrator class. This design is a lot more slick. Uh, let's see. 
What about... What about the, uh... What about... Hmm. Let's see. Let's just call this something, uh... Dumb. I think I'm gonna name the ship the, uh, GMU Dark Star. Um... I just can't figure out the cl the class of the ship because it has no weapons. You know what? It's just gonna be the drop ship. It's right here, and I will upload that to the Steam Workshop very soon. But I'm going to go into the antenna. And I'm going to put the broadcast radius up to complete. Uh, antenna. We're gonna name this the Dark Star. There we go. So, that was the entire purpose of today's video to get a ship done. Oh, we should take this thing out for a small test flight. Let's go thing is ridiculously speedy it's got uh, four extra chairs in the uh, back again for recording purposes I'm just gonna switch it back to daytime uh, it's pretty fast actually it might be faster than my infiltrator class to be honest because my infiltrator class was really heavily armored. This thing's made completely out of light armor. And it can also fly upside down. Probably better than it can right side up. It can also fly sideways. And the other side. It most likely probably could fly like this. Yeah, and then of course, as we could see, since we were going so fast, we can fly like that. So, uh, yeah, this is the ship design. It'll be uploaded to the workshop soon. Uh, there will still be an episode on Sunday. I just wanted to design a ship class to a uh, new ship today um, And I wanted to record it So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching hope you have a good day night whenever you're watching this and Make sure that you join my discord server. Uh, I lost the base Where's the base? That's oh, over there. And I will see you all later. Go.